KKL 9's Jake Reiner explains the special significance to the Jewish people given the history of the region. To many, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is a symbol of resilience. We are fighting just for our land and for our freedom. Resistance and resolve. Can you imagine this morning two cruise missiles hit this Freedom Square, dozens of killed ones. This is the price of freedom. For staying to protect his country against the Russian invasion led by President Vladimir Putin. One of the reasons why this strikes such a chord, I think, in the Jewish soul is that tyrants that want to destroy a nation are not unfamiliar to us. The simple fact that Zelensky is Jewish makes his rise to power in this particular country particularly improbable, given the context of Ukraine's Holocaust history. It also makes him a Jewish hero. How proud they feel that somebody whose grandparents survived but their entire family were lost in the Holocaust has arisen as someone who succeeded in mobilizing such um, unanimity among the all the free nations of the world. According to Rabbi David Wolpe of Sinai Temple, Zelensky has been the topic of many conversations and services at synagogues throughout the L.A. area. What most of the congregants have been saying, first of all, is how astonishing it is that this Jewish comedian who was on Dancing with the Stars has become a beacon for the world. A sobering moment was Tuesday's Russian missile attack on Babi Yar, a memorial site in Ukraine marking the location of one of the largest mass killings of Jews during the Holocaust. That a Jew who is president of the Ukraine where this happened asked Jews to stand up and say this is wrong. It was, I think, for us a defining moment uh, of courage and of resistance. Zelensky's appeal to his fellow Jews has a wide reach. That's why the Jewish Federation of Greater Los Angeles organized a Ukrainian Jewish Community Relief Fund with a goal of raising more than a million dollars to help refugees fleeing the country, a goal they're close to meeting. That this first million that we're going to use to help the Jewish community um, in Ukraine is just the beginning. This need is so deep and so broad that everyone who can possibly give should try to give. Nobody's going to break us. We're strong. We're Ukrainians. A testament to how far Ukraine has come since World War II, a 2019 Pew Research poll found that it was the most accepting of Jews among all Central and Eastern European countries. I'm Jake Reiner, KCAL 9 News.